So, in this discussion, I am going to the second stage of calculus. <coughs> you should have this book as this is the best book as far as fundamental clearance is concerned. You should have this book first. And if you require, you can also follow the books. But this book is a must. Apart from that, you should have a question bank like this. This is Vinyas Publications. It's only 36 rupees in the market. So, I'm going with the first question. Find the derivative of log of sec x plus tan, plus tan x <coughs> with respect to x. Now, log of sec x plus tan x. As I told in the previous discussions, log of star. Think of log of x. <coughs> is 1 by x so log of star is 1 by star into d by dx of star so as the star is whatever is there in the in that so it is 1 by sec x plus tan x into d by dx of sec x plus tan x so this is 1 by sec x plus tan x you can multiply this as t by dx of sec x plus t by dx of, I'm sorry, t by dx of tan x. So, that will become 1 by sec x plus tan x into, that's a bracket over here. So, d by dx of sec x is sec x into tan x d by dx of tan x is x square x. Then that becomes 1 by sec x plus tan x. You can see sec x is going as a common. So once I'll take sec x, I'm left with tan x plus sec x. And this is the same. So for better impression, You should write <coughs> tan x plus sec x, but you write like sec x plus tan x. So that when both of these are exactly the same, give a bracket and cancel. So the answer is sec x. I'll go to the next problem. d by dx of e to the power x by x square. Let me just do some easy sums. d by dx of this one, fourth one, differentiate y equal to e to the power x by 2. Differentiate means write d by dx on both sides. Now d by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x. d by dx of e to the power star is e to the power star into d by dx of star. So e to the power star, this is star. So this is e to the power x by 2 into d by dx of x by 2. So this is e to the power x by 2. I'm sorry, there was a 2 over here in the question, I believe. Yeah, there was a 2. So there is a 2 here. <coughs> I'm sorry. So the 2 will come out as it's a constant. I'm just writing the intermediate step. That's equal to 2 
into d by dx of e to the power x by 2. So the 2 comes here and then d by dx of e to the power x by 2 is e to the power x by 2 into d by dx of x by 2. So d by dx of x by 2 is 1 by 2. Answer is e to the power x by 2. If you want to know d by dx of x by 2, how it is 1 by 2, so this is d by dx of x into 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is a constant, so it comes out. It's 1 by 2 into d by dx of x. So it's 1 by 2 into 1, which is 1. d by dx of x is 1, a formula discussed in the previous videos. d by dx of 1 by x to the power 4 plus root x plus 5. So this is d by dx of 1 by x to the power 4 plus d by dx of root x plus d by dx of 5. d by dx of 1 by x to the power n is <coughs> minus n divided by x to the power n plus 1. n is 4 here, so this is minus 4 divided by x to the power 4 plus 1. d by dx of root x is 1 by 2 root x formula d by dx of 5 is d by dx of c which is 0 so this is 0 final answer is minus 4 divided by x to the power 5 plus 1 by 2 root x that's it then the next problem Let's both of this d by dx of e to the power x by x square. So this is in the form of d by dx of p by q, which is q into d by dx of p minus p into d by dx of q whole divided by q square already discussed in the previous videos so this is my p this is my q so q is x square into d by dx of e to the power x minus e to the power x into d by dx of x square whole divided by x square whole square so this comes to be x square d by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x minus e to the power x d by dx of x square is 2x whole divided by x square whole square is x to the power 4, 2 into 2. e to the power x, you can take common if you require. So this is x square minus 2x whole divided by x to the power 4. You can still take a common from of x from here. So this becomes e to the power x into x. So it becomes x minus 2 divided by x to the power 4 x to the power 4 and x get cancelled as x to the power 3. Whatever you are left is the final answer. e to the power x into x minus 2 whole divided by x to the power 3. You can leave the answer very well over here till this. Because it's a one more question, you do not have to simplify any further. Thanks for watching.